Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's time for one of my favorite videos of the month, my show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature where all of the cards would be the current sheet load of cards, but it has turned into more of a show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. Sometimes I get cards just because. If you ever want to show us your sheet load, there are three different ways you can do that. You can do a video here on YouTube, post a picture on Instagram, or you can send in a card for this end of the month video. If you want to do YouTube or Instagram, you'll want to use those two hashtags provided on each month's printable and I do a search for that so I can see what you've created. If you want to send in a card, I give you all of the details on the Show Us Your Sheet Loads guideline video and it is linked in the description box below and I will have it as an end screen after this video is over. If you want to send in a card, you are free to use any sheet load of cards edition. You'll just want to make sure to know which you did per the instructions in that video. Lyndon might be joining us here today for the package opening. What I'll be doing here in just a minute is start to share photos of what is in each envelope and I will tell you a little bit about the sender and give you a close up look at their cards. Let's go ahead and see what they sent in. The first card for today is from Terry R. of Massachusetts, and she has used the September sheet load to create this fall card. I love that leaf pattern paper in the background and her little die cut leaf. Thank you so much, Terry. M. Page of South Carolina used the August 2021 sheet load for her card today. I just love that cute little image and sentiment. So fun. Thank you for sending in a card. Yvonne K. from Wisconsin sent in this pretty card with that gorgeous butterfly and the sentiment on her card which reads, Our friendship isn't one big thing, it's a million little things is one of my favorites. Thank you so much Yvonne for the lovely card and nice note. Jennifer D. of California used the September sheet load of cards for this cute Halloween card. Those images just make me smile. Thanks for sending it in, Jennifer. Kimberly B. from New Hampshire often shares birthday cards that she makes for her employees using sheet load. Well, this month she has sent in an example card of what she gives them on their anniversaries with the company. It is a plumbing company, so that little guy with the plunger is perfect and so cute and adorable. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Diane A. always wows me with her cards, and her September card is no exception. I really like the yellow and pink combination and those pretty florals. Thank you, Diane, for sending in a card again. Speaking of wow, this card sent in by Janet C. of Illinois is one that you have to see in person to fully appreciate. The texture and dimension on that sunflower focal point is just wonderful. Thank you, Janet. Lori K. of Minnesota created a fall card with the September sheet load, and I'm loving everything about it. The pattern papers, the color combo, the little ribbon embellishment on the sentiment, just gorgeous. And also, Lori, I'm sorry you didn't get to go visit the Tailored Expression Studio, but I hope that you'll get to soon. 
And speaking of tailored expressions, next weekend, the weekend of like October 8th and 9th, my sister and I will be in Des Moines for Stamp Joy, which is an event put on by Tailored Expressions. And we are hoping to go live on maybe Saturday night after the event is over. If this is something that you're interested in watching, let us know in that comment section below what you might like to see or know about. And if you want us to try to do a little on the spot creating. Speaking of my sister who is Crafty Days here on YouTube and also known as Lisa M from Iowa, she took the time to create with and send in a card using the September sheet load. She also created a fall card. I am loving the colors and those fun sequins. Thank you, Lisa, and I can't wait to see you next weekend. Iona S. from Washington took the time to create and send in this birthday card using September 2021. I am really liking the colors and those small patterns on the paper. Thank you so much, Iona. Sharon M. of Indiana sent in two envelopes this month and they both contain beautiful examples using sheet loads. On the left is a gorgeous fall card. I am loving that cork look paper created using the September 2021 sheet load of cards. And then on the right, she did a little sheet load rewind to August 2019 for this beautiful friendship card. Both of them had a lovely decorated envelope. Thank you so much, Sharon. Judy A., who is also from Indiana, also sent in two cards this month. I love that pumpkin pattern paper and how on the left card she has that pop of burgundy color. So wonderful. Thank you for sharing your creations. Monica C. from Arizona sent in quite a few cards this month. In the center is a card for me with a nice note inside and then she has used some sheet load of cards for the six at the top. Over on the left are a couple cozy cards using September 2021 and the four on the right are holiday cards using June 2021. Thank you so much Monica. Once again, Joan O. from Denmark has taken the time to create and send in a sheet load of examples. She used the September 2021 sheet load of cards to inspire this whole set of masculine cards. Now you'll notice some of them she changed landscape and she always alters the size to fit her papers in Denmark. Thank you so much Joan for these beautiful cards. Before I get to the final package, I did want to stop by with a reminder and a hope that you'll join me. Earlier this month, I shared five challenges for my Shop Your Stash September Challenge series. I challenged myself this month to use what I have and not spend any money on crafty supplies, and then I also extended the challenge to you. I will have the playlist to all five challenges and the introduction video linked in that description box below if you would like to join me. You do have until October 10th to submit your photos. I can't wait to see what you've created. And last but certainly not least is a package from the ladies that I like to call my crafty Irish friends. They like to get together and craft and I'm especially pleased that they are inspired by sheet load of cards. First up is a package from Rita and you can see here that she used many different sheet loads to create her lovely cards. She's used July 19, 20, and 21, August 19, 20, and 21, and September 20 and 21. Thank you so much Rita for your beautiful cards. The cards up on screen now were created from her friend Trish and they also use various sheet loads of cards. I just love the little kitty on that top one. Thank you so much Trish and Rita again and I wish that I could be there to craft with you sometime. 
I'll bet you can see why now this is one of my favorite videos to share each month. If you enjoyed seeing everybody's wonderful creations, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, which is the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.